Eilish my daddy to channel. I want to say thank you to all of my subscribers. Thank you guys for subscribing to my channel. Thank you for your love, for your support. Okay guys, so in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to cut and sew this beautiful gown. So you can see the piece there. That's what we are going to learn how to do today. So it is a beginner friendly tutorial. Okay, so the measurement that I'm going to be making is of, let me call them. So the first measurement, I'm going to be using 34. So we'll divide 34 into 4, we'll have 9.5. The under bust measurement is 30 divided by 4. The waist measurement, that's where the half cut is going to be, is going to be 34 divided by 4. So from the shoulder to my under bust, I'll use 14. And then I'll add a band of 2 inches. That will make it 16 inches. And then the full length of the gown is going to be 60 inches. So the, the one minus 16 from the... 60 inches, you have 44, so the remaining 44 will divide it into two. So, as I go along, the measurements are looking somehow, so I'll explain to make it easier for you to understand. So, the first thing we are going to do now, let's cut out the top part. So, if you have not subscribed to my channel already, please subscribe. So, this is the fabric, and I have about four yards of this fabric here that I'm going to be making use of. Please like my video, I would appreciate for you to do that right now. Just please like it. Okay guys, so this is the amount of fabric that I'm going to be making your use of for this tutorial. So I've cut them out. I cut out the back and the front. So I'm placing them together. So the first thing I'm going to do now, just make a straight line here. So this will be like a start up line for me. For this. And then we're going to, so for you to know how to fold your fabric, use your bust measurement, divide by 4. I have 9.5, so I had it about 1, 2, 3, 4 and half inches to reach so to give me about almost 13.5 inches so that's why i folded my fabric the next thing we're going to do now the first thing i'm going to mark out my shoulder so for this i'm not using a bust here. i'm going to just make it a waist that so the next thing i'm going to do i'll use my shoulder measurement which is 14 divide by four i have sorry divide by two i have seven inches i'll mark the seven inches here and then from this point i'm going to come down by half of an inch so that half of an inch i'll just put that into the shoulder points like that the next thing now i'm going to measure half of my armhole measurements so my armhole is 16 the half is 8 inches so i'll mark the 8 inches like this i'll connect it to a straight ruler like this and then i'll use my my hip curve to navigate the the armhole area okay so the next thing i'm going to insert our bust measurement so i think i say our bust is 38 divided by 4. we have it 9.5 so this is 9.5 here so i'm going to add allowance to it so the allowance that i'm going to add i'll add three inches allowance to it why so that because i'm going to sew and fold and then i'm going to come to my waist my waist area from this point i'll place my tip because the length of the fabric that i cut out like i explained earlier i said my half cut is 14 inches so i added two inches to make it 16 okay so this two inches is going to be for pound but I'm, I'll, I'll trim it out from here and add it back later so the next thing is our waist measurement is our under post measurement rather which is 37.5 divide into four you have 7.5 so i'm going to add one inch for my dart and then i'll add 2.5 inches between allowance so you can see it's a simple process so i'll mark it like that so you can see we're done with our bodies the next thing now we're going to cut out the neckline you can see it is a square neckline so for the square neckline i'll use three inches i'll mark my three inches like this and then from this point i'm going to come down so depends on how deep you want your square neckline to be. That is what you are going to use. So for this, I'm going to make mine, it's going to be like seven inches. So I'm not going to cut it directly seven. I'll make it 6.5 here because I'm cutting directly on my fabric. So from this point, I'm still using my three inches. So I'm just trying to make sure I'll mark it. And then I'll mark it like this. I don't want the neckline to be too deep. Then for the back neckline, I'm going to use a one inch neckline for the back. So 
I'm just going to do this. Just connect this like this. My back neck line. So you can see how simple this is. So for the dart, I'm going to use my boss arm measurement for my dart, which is 8 inches. I'll mark it here. And then it's just a waist dart. So I'm going to just put a knot. So when I'm stitching, I will knot. to cut out right now. So I've marked this all out. It is simple and easy. So the next thing now, I will go, I'll cut out my lining and then I will go and sew and turn it. Okay. If I am going to cut out my band. Okay, guys, so you can see, so I finished teaching them. So I turned it, I just turned it with lining around the neckline. So this is the back and then this is the front. So the next thing, we are going to turn them together. So it is a simple process. So I'm going to close this on my zip allowance part and then I'll stitch the shoulder. I'll just join it like this on the shoulder and then join the side side. I'll do that and then bring it back and show you. So for my band, I actually cut out a straight band, but for my band, I want to do, we will just run a straight band round, round it, you understand? So I don't want to break the band. So the band is going to run across, it's just going to terminate at the back. So that is why you see I cut this like this, and then I'm going to fold this. So for this band, I'm not going to iron any interfacing on it. So I cut out two inches, like I said. So I'll iron it down and then I'll bring it back and show you how to attach it. Okay guys, so you can see, so I've finished joining the side. So the next thing I for me to cut, add my band. So you can see the band, like I said, it's optional. You can add interface into it. It's a simple process of adding this band. So I'm just going to open it from this back and then I'm going to take it like this. So you can see from the hem, that is from the zip allowance part. I'm going to stitch it all out the way. So if you are making this kind of band, just make sure that make sure that you your your the waist measurement is is tight, as in you have the accurate waist measurement for you to do this. So because you will not be able to adjust it if it is not tight. Okay. So I'll stitch it around and then we'll come back and cut the down part of the skirt. Okay guys, so you can see I have finished teaching. So this is the top. So I fixed the band. It looks good. It looks okay. So the waist, our uh, waist, you know, we're working, I'm sorry, we're working with a waist of 30 inches, okay? So I'm going to cut, we're going to cut the A-line part of our gown now. And then before we cut the gathered one, the, the gathered one is just going to be long strap. So to cut our A-line, I want something that is more than 30 inches, the waist. Because I'm going to pleat it and even at that I don't want the down part to be too wide okay so here is what I'm going to do I'm just going to fold this at just like a slant angle like this so you can see how I'm folding it so I want about 23 inches that's like the length that I want <laughs> so I'm going to place this here and then check so I have about 23 inches here so I'll just make it 24 so the next thing I'm going to check I'll check what I have here Okay, so what I have here, this is about 20 inches, which is okay, because it is divided into two, which is 10. So at the end of the day, I'm going to have about 40. That's okay for me. <coughs> Sorry. So I'm going to mark. So I'm just going to use this. And then I'll mark it around. I'll just mark my 23 inches. Mark it around. And then I'll cut out. So I'm going to cut out two pieces of this. So I'll do that and then come back and show you. I'll cut the second one. <clears throat> I'll add zip allowance to the second one. So the second one will be a little bit bigger than this. Okay. So you can see. So this is the A-line part of our gown. 
So the next thing now, uh, it is a very simple process. So I'm going to stitch. So the way I'm going to stitch it, because my band is straight, I'm going to join. I'm going to join them together like this. Guys, I'll join the side sides together. I'll join this side together. Join this side. Then I will not have a straight long strap, and then I'll fix it straight from the back like this, so you can see. So from this zip allowance point, after joining here and joining here, I will not fix it straight like this round. So I'll just do tiny, just little bit of pleats all around it. So that's what I will go and do right now. Okay, guys. So you can see. So I finished stitching. So I've joined it. So you can see mine, the pleats are not too much, so it is okay. It is okay because I don't want the down part to be too full. This dress, if you actually want to make it, you need about five yards of fabric. So this is the straight piece that I'm going to sew at this down part of my gown. So you can see the down of mine is not, is not too big. The A-line is just perfect, okay? So that, let me measure. At the end of the day, I have about 30, that's 68 inches, that's, that's the down part. So here is the piece that I'm going to stitch at the down. So I've measured it out. So I have about four yards and half here. That's 36 into four and half. And then the length that I'm using, I'm using about 20, 23 inches for the down part. So because after folding and hemming, it's going to come to about 21. So that's why I did it that way. So I'm making, it's just a normal straight piece. So what I'm going to do with this straight piece now, one, gather it at the down part of this, this dress. So I'll just gather it. So if you have a gather footer on your machine, you can use it. But if you don't have a gather footer, here's what you will do. You can just draw gathers, just run a straight stitch and then pull it together. Or you can decide to, as you are stitching, you just be giving it tiny, tiny pleats all around round so i'll do that and then bring it back and show you how it will look like right now okay guys so i finished teaching so i've joined the down part so you can see how it looks like it came out really fine and i like the fullness at the down is okay if it was bigger than this it would have been too big so the next thing that is remaining nice for me to fix the sleeve as well the sleeve is a very simple Process. So here is what I did. I cut out a very long strap of fabric and I folded the fabric into two. Okay, guys, so like I was saying, so I decided to just finish up one of the sleeves first. So before, so to make it easier to explain, to explain it so you can see. So I cut out a very long strap of fabric. So I'll tell you the measurement that I'm using of my fabric so my fabric is about 60 is about 65 there about okay so the next thing i'm going to do is a simple process and the fabric is folded into two so you can see it's three inches i'm going to pleat it so this was what was done so you can see so i need to i'm going to use serge i'll serge this part or i'll just pipe it so making it so i'm going to take this i'll open up this sleeve from this ample area like this to make it easier so you need to open it so and then the next thing i'm going to pleat this fabric like this this piece of fabric starting from this point like this i'm going to start pleating just pleat it however you want to pleat it so you can see that my pleats are big pleats so i'll just keep pleating i'll pleat like this and then keep going keep going until i am done so you can see it so you just keep pleating pleating just pleat it around until i'm done and then when i'm done i'll hold it on the armhole area i'll just give it a stitch to close back this armhole that i opened up so i'll do that and then i'll bring it back for you to see how it looks like okay guys so at the end of the day you can see how our gun looks like it actually came out really fine and it's beautiful. I just can't wait to rock this. So guys, if you find this video helpful, please hit on the like button. And if you have not subscribed to my channel already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much, guys. I'll see you in my next